when you start off with a painting, it's always haphazard. You're putting colors in, you don't know where it's gonna land. But you have to keep going and trust the process and you end up with something that's so beautiful. And I like to apply that philosophy a lot to the work that I'm doing. I am now pursuing entrepreneurship and it is something that I did not have um, as a mission because in general I have been a very risk averse person. But coming here has given me that kind of ambition to dare to dream. My dad has quadriplegia, he's a wheelchair user and uh, my mom is his primary caregiver. We see a lot of people today, including myself, but also including my mom, turn to different resources at the absence of a physician or an expert. And that resource nowadays is often social media. And I have seen firsthand how maybe incorrect information does impact the kind of decisions you make when you trust the messenger. I knew that I wanted to look at health communication, specifically from the lens of how social media is empowering people to share information about health. The entrepreneurial initiative that I'm working now is heavily inspired by the research that uh, is being done even now at Harvard Chan by my mentor on how health communication should be democratized to creators along with the traditional institutions that share information. I think my coming here to Harvard is, in my mom's words, myself living a dream that she had always had for me. And it makes her in incredibly happy that I'm able to live and have experiences that she couldn't. It's an incredibly rare gift that not many people have to be able to be ambitious and think that you're gonna be able to achieve something bigger than what you could think. And that's a gift that Harvard Chan has given me.